again. This is part 3 of ECRAS tutorial. Today we are going to insert the Mannings value for our cross section. We are going to see how to define the value. We are going as well to define the boundary condition, including the, the flow at our sink. And we are going to run the simulation after having solved some problems. Let's open again our ECRAS, our project floating pinna diagram. We have in our project the geometry that we have just finished to design. We can still have a look at our GIS ECRAS just to be sure that everything is correct. Here we have our situation. We have our digital terrain model. We have our orthophoto done with the drone. Let's cross check that there are no major errors. By the error layer, I don't have any message. Therefore, I can assume that the geometry is fine. I close the geometry and I open the geometry data again. At this point, we need to add the Manning's value. Let's just check one cross section. We have these two red points. Those two red points represent the intersection between the cross section and the riverbank. We have three parts, left part, riverbed and right part. And we have to give to each of these parts the right Manning's value. In our case, we have an easy situation. We have an easy land cover. We have the river itself, which is stony. We have conifer forest and we have grassland. So where to find the Manning's value? Just check on the manual or in my case, I prefer to go on the internet, on the engineering toolbox. The Manning's value for the riverbed, I could use this one, natural stream, major rivers, 0.035. The Manning's value for the conifer forest, I could take this one, float plains trees, 0.15. And the Manning's value for the grassland, I could take float plains, pasture, farmland 0.035 as well so let's start to insert our Manning's value for that you go on to table Manning's value let's start to insert the Manning's value for the riverbed I click on main channel and here I type 0.035 let's insert the Manning's value for the right overbank. If you look downwards, the right overbank is the big float plane here. Here we click on right overbank. If I look at the picture, this is grassland. This is as well grassland. So I can type here 0 0.035, 0 0.035. Then the next one, it would be half of it is trees and the rest is grassland. So it's a mix between the two. I would type 0.8 some trees and then grassland i would say again 0 0.05 next one 31 would be mainly grassland 35 next one as well mainly grassland next one is 71 is one third is forest and the rest is grassland so maybe 0 0.6 Next one, 91, the same, it is mainly grassland. And the last one is mainly forest, that's it. And now let's take the left over bank. Here we have forest for the first five uh, is forest. Fine, then we have grassland, 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 grassland to the last one. And the last one looks like forest and grassland both together fine now we have it we can cross check you see now we have inserted the Manning's value everywhere correctly good at this point we need to save our geometry it is saved at this point we have to enter the on steady flow data here we need to enter our boundary condition at cross section 953 we have our sink it's here 
we have our sink and we have the flow estimated in the previous tutorial with egg HMS and here we have to enter this flow it's the flow hydrograph and we can enter the data that we have prepared precedently we have those data with the flow if you remember just copy those data here and insert it here fine we have inserted now the date everything starts on the 2nd of october fixed third we can start on the 2nd of october 2020 the 2nd of october at time maybe zero zero okay we have the interval every 10 minutes automatically this should be correct so it starts on the 2nd of october at 10 minutes that's fine and then it goes down it increase and it it ends on the 2nd of october at 2340 which is fine for me i can plot the data and i can see how the data looks like yes that's fine it looks correct it is similar to this what we have done with excel everything seems to be fine okay i can click ok and now again i need to give the boundary condition for the lower point which is at the cross section 21 and here i need to give the slope of the energy at this level this is very difficult to estimate but we can take as a reference the slope of the terrain you click on that and you get this mask in order to estimate the slope of the terrain at point 21 the easiest way to do it is with global mapper i have my cross section and i just want the slope at this point i just display the digital terrain model in order to find the slope i take this icon called path profile and i draw a line like that and it gives me an average slope okay from here to here i have an average slope of 4.78 which is fine at this point i can go back to my egg ras and write friction slope 0 0.0 Four, eight. okay i have my slope i can save the flow data i call it on steady flow data okay. and now i have received here a new file called on steady flow data at this point i have all my parameter i can run the simulation to run the simulation i click on this icon perform an steady flow simulation and this mask appear i need to click here here post processing i need to insert the starting date for that we can check our hydrograph so we start on the, the 2nd of october so starting date we're on the 2nd of october okay 20 at time 0010 it is this number here and we end on the 2nd of October at 2340 2340 we will have computation interval every 10 minutes mapping output as well every 10 minutes hydrograph output every 10 minutes and detail output interval every 10 minutes and let's hope that everything is correct and we can click on compute here we have errors reach one cross section 571 is wrong and reach one cross section 454 is wrong so let's see it says that we have a wall with zero width so we have to check this wall at point 280 and 318 and then the cross section 455 so let's have a look I go on the cross section I check the first cross section 571 
let's go on cross section 571.280 where it is problem is this one the problem we can clean up a little bit this point i have some problem here those are obviously trees i need to clean up those trees okay this looks good and now these as well need to be cleaned okay i have cleaned now the cross section okay let's have a look how it is okay it's cleaned fine the next one will be cross section 454 454 at point 241 it is this one at what 436 meter 436 somewhere here it is the same area 20, somewhere here I also clean up a little bit the geometry okay I think that's fine now okay I save it close it I validate again the cross-section right click validate okay it seems that there is no error save close and run again the analysis and let's hope that everything is fine now I have only one error at cross section 571 so I have to remove a wall this happens because my digital terrain model is not very clean some trees are interpreted by the software as a wall so I need to take away the wall at point 150 and 188 close cross section cross section 571 edit 150 it's somewhere here the lead object is this these points okay now it should be fine and point 188 this point here it's wrong now it should be fine maybe this one also is could be problematic okay i close it i save it i close it i validate once again validate looks fine save i close and now i try to run again on steady flow simulation this we don't need to change it anymore compute and let's hope everything goes on fine geometry is fine it seems to be good in the next part we are going to see the result this was part 3 of the tutorial in part 4 we are going to interpret the result